Sziasztok! Hi guys! So in today's episode of the mini-series uh, we are going to present to you the very first item that we bought for our baby. Uh, actually a funny story, the very first time uh, when we already knew that we were pregnant and we knew that we were going to start buying uh, at some point uh, all the things, we went to the baby store and the most popular one actually in Belgium, I think it was a dream baby or baby dump and literally the only thing we knew we were going to need was a car seat for the baby. So we went in and immediately got a huge headache because there was such a huge choice of car seats. Different colors, sizes, uh, brands, but uh, there was a kind lady who assisted us and explained to us uh, all the options. Immediately we fell in love with the color of this Moxie Cozy, which I'm going to be showing to you guys today. But first I would like to go through the legislation in Belgium, what kind of seat and when you should use it. So the main rule is that all kids less than 1.35 meters should travel in a car seat. Besides this there are three groups, so up to 13 kilograms they should be traveling facing backwards, between 30 and 80 kilograms they should be facing forwards in a car seat, and above 80 kilograms, they should be using a booster seat with a normal three-point seat belt in the car, in the back of the car. With that out of the way, let's look at this beautiful Maxi Cozy Pebble 360 in the color uh, Essential Green. Some very, very important information. It has the eye size accreditation, which is basically the EU safety regulation for uh, child car seats. This basically means that uh, the seat selection is based on the size of your baby uh, opposed to being based on uh, their weight or their age. And also uh, it has passed the German uh, ADAC's uh, test, which is basically the organization doing the most rigorous testing within Europe. So it passed uh, that test as well with flying colors. So we know that uh, even in the worst case scenario, our baby is going to be in the best place possible. According to Maxi Cozy, the seat was developed for six years of intensive use meaning that you could use it for your second child or you can give it uh, a second life as well. If you decide that you're gonna give a second life uh, to your car seat, it's good to know that you're still gonna be able to resell this. We opted for a brand new one because it's a brand new uh, design. We haven't found this second hand and also because it's gonna be the very first thing our baby is going to be in and there are certain fluids coming out of a baby which could soil the texture, the textile on it and we just, we just, we just wanted a brand new car seat, that's it. So it's a brand new car seat. So it's a cold pebble 360 for a reason, because it's a rotating car seat if you buy the, the Isofix base with it. Uh, meaning that when you're putting your child inside the car, it's facing you and then you can turn it within the car. We opted not to buy this base because first of all the price is quite hefty. The car seat itself costed 270 euros, brand new, and if you add the, the Isofix base to it, that would have been an additional 240 euros, which, which is a lot of money for an item that they can use until good one, one and a half year. The second car seat we are planning to buy will be the final car seat that we are going to need until she grows up and reaches this 1.35 meter height. There are a couple of features which I, I think present in most of the Maxi Cozy car seats. One of them is the G-cell technology. Uh, which means they are extra protected from the side. The cleanup flow thingy, which means that uh, excessive uh, sweating will be pre prevented when they are in the car seat. Uh, so I guess your child is not gonna be extra sweaty when you take them out. That's always good. What I really liked is that opposed to previous uh, Maxi Cozy uh, models, this has this adjustable sun canopy which goes actually quite deep. If you protect them from the sun, but also in the worst case scenario, if there's a car crash 
and the windows are breaking in it's gonna protect her head that these glass parts are not getting into their eyes and, and head area and also honestly it's very beautiful like that I love it it comes already with a newborn insert so you don't have to buy that I think that's also a plus uh, it can be put into the car with the isofix base, which we do not have, so, we, so we're going to show you guys how you have to put it in uh, with the three-point seatbelt. There are uh, very good hooks on it in the front and in the back too. It also has an easy harness system, which makes it very easy to take your child uh, in and out. Obviously, I know this is a teddy bear. It's not a baby, so it's a bit more chunkier, I imagine, and maybe a bit shorter, I don't know. But uh, I'm gonna demonstrate everything with Teddy. So, there you go. Back. And your Teddy is out. So you can see that it's very, very easy. Um, and then to put in. Up. like so and then you just pull this thing and then this gets more tight and my teddy is getting squished because it was not designed to be in a baby car seat but that's fine oh and also i love the handle it's very very smooth the the entire car seat is by the way very very premium the the textile on it the the plastic parts all feel very very very, very nice uh, there's also an option, obviously, to put this down because right now it's in a rocking position. But if you want the rocking to stop, you can do that as well, like so. I'm not sure if that's usable, but right now it's not rocking anymore, right, Bonnie? So I think that's it. And now let's go to the car and let's see how it fits in.